Welcome to the Pima Community College ADR informational series. In this video, we are going to be talking about the three types of animals that might be allowed on campus. The first type, the service animal, is any dog or miniature horse that is individually trained to perform tasks for the benefit of an individual with a disability. Other species of animals, whether wild or domestic, trained or untrained, are not service animals. The next type of animal is an emotional support animal or assistance animal. Emotional support animals serve as companions for people with various disabilities. Their mere presence is a benefit to the individual. Finally, there is the program animal. Program animals are animals with good temperament selected by the college to visit various facilities and programs for the benefit of those using their services. So how do you know what type of animal a person has with them, if in fact you need to know? And then how do you know if the animal should be allowed on college property? It is important to note that you should not question a user about his or her use of a service animal if both the user's disability and the work or task the service animal is performing is obvious. If, however, it is not readily apparent that the animal is a service animal, college personnel may, in a discreet and confidential manner, ask the following two questions. Is this a service animal required because of a disability? What work or task has the dog or animal been trained to perform? For a service animal, the answer to the first question must be yes, and for the second question, the user must be able to describe a specific task the animal performs for them. In this case, with some limitations as described later, the animal and its user must be allowed anywhere the user would be allowed without the animal. Also, if the animal is not a dog or a miniature horse, it is not a service animal. For an emotional support animal, the answer must be yes for the first question, but for the second question, the user will not be able to describe the task that the animal is trained to perform for them. People who wish to use an emotional support animal on college property must get prior approval from either ADR if they are a student or the EEO office if they are either staff or a member of the community. For the program animal, the answer will be no for the first question, but for the second question, the user may be able to describe a task that the animal is trained to perform. But if they can describe a task, the task will probably be for someone other than the handler. These animals are usually brought by an agency and are trained to work to provide therapeutic interactions with individuals with or without disabilities. Requests for approval for program animals must be submitted through the use of college facilities process specified in the college's standard practice guide 2503 AA. But remember, you can only ask, is this a service animal required because of a disability? And what work or task has the dog or animal been trained to perform? You should not, however, ask about the nature or extent of the person's disability or documentation of disability for proof of the dog's training to have the dog wear an identifying vest, tag, or other indication that it is a service animal, or for the dog to demonstrate its ability to perform the work or task. It is important to remember, however, that any animal may be excluded from college facilities or asked to leave when the animal is out of control and the animal's handler does not take effective action to control it, or is not housebroken, or is ill, aggressive, or poses a direct threat to the health and safety of the public employees, students, and or the handler, or found to be disruptive in the classroom, or causes a fundamental alteration of the curricula, services, activities, or programs. Campus security should be called in cases of direct threat or property damage. For any other concerns regarding an animal on campus, contact your administrative supervisor, ADR, the EEO office, or campus security. Now that we have covered some of the basics, here are some answers to some frequently asked questions. What are some basic etiquette rules for service animals and their handlers? Do not feed or pet service animals when you see them on campus. Do not try to separate the handler from the service animal. Do not harass or startle the service animal. And remember, service animals must be supervised by their users at all times. College employees are not responsible for the supervision of service animals. What if another student or faculty member has severe allergies around animal dander? The final determination regarding how to manage this kind of situation will be made on a case-by-case -case basis. Please contact ADR for further information if a situation of this nature occurs. 
What if you see the animal being mistreated or evidence that it is not being cared for properly? You may report this and treat it as if you saw the same treatment occurring by the owner of any other animal. Please see Pima College Administrative Procedure 3.46.04 for more detailed information or call ADR at extension 6688. Thanks for watching and thank you for your interest in Access for All. 